This sucks. This sucks. What are these fucking things anyway? Oh yeah, records. I remember these things. I don't know why they replaced 8-tracks. Those things were cool. This was an 8-track store anyway. Oh, hello, it's me, owner of Shirungus here, uh... Shopping for records! Yeah, that's what I do! That's what I do when I come to Washington, D.C. to play our rock and roll shows! I shop for records! I don't go and try to score crack because it's fucking excellent in this town! Oh right, well, first I wanted to buy the fine young cannibals. I don't know anything about this band, but I like the name. Asia! A band usually named after a geographical location usually sucks. For instance, Boston, Kansas, uh, any other band that's got one of those. Anyway, Asia was the sole exception. This super group actually redefined the way that really lousy music was played. I never knew that you would taste the breeze The fantasies and taste and I, and I never knew I never knew that you and you yeah. And also the circumstance Do you remember I don't remember. Alright, turn that fucking thing off. Okay, uh, Didn't you just record a Kansas song? Well, yes, we did. And yeah, we did. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you're not in this thing. Listen, the onion tricked us into doing that. We kicked ass, so we're gonna play it tonight. Kansas. <laughs> Caught me off guard. I thought that was a terrible idea from the get go. Alright, now, for you guys who can remember the 70s, some of our fans, and a show called Hollywood Squares, there was this time. A voluptuous, voluptuous Latin siren sex cake kitten. She was Hugh Hefner's little kitten up in the Pussycat Lounge in, in Vegas. And James Caan was there as well with his stubbly beard. Straight off the set and radioactive. Chara on the Hoochie Coochie Girl! When I think of people that like to rock, I think of Americans. When I think of people who like to be drunk and be miserable, I think of the USSR. This is no longer this, by the way. It's just Russia again. And people are every bit as drunk as they were back when it was not. The only way that you are allowed to refuse a drink in Russia and not make an ass out of yourself is by saying you're an alcoholic. So my advice for you is to become an alcoholic before you go to Russia, if you plan on visiting. Here's another little, oh, well this is an actually a good album that I picked up, Frank Zappa's Overnight Sensation with the classic track slime, I am the green slime, what is it called? So classic that I can't remember what it's called. I can't read this. Camarillo Brillo is awesome on this. She stripped out of her rancid poncho and laid out naked by the door. We did it till we were on concho and it was useless anymore. She had a snake for a pet and an amulet and she was breathing a dwarf but she wasn't done yet. She had gray green skin, a doll with a pin. I don't know what that was all about. King Crimson, ladies and gentlemen, another band that you young punks don't know shit about. You fucking suck. All right, what else? The Who, live at Leeds, greatest punk band ever. If they're not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they should quit out of shame. 
Uh, just for the fact that they went on with that tour after Mac, after John McEnroe died. Yes, the famous Wimbledon player that was also the bass player for The Who. The Pretenders, yes, you know you want a fucker. <laughs> Even now, uh, these, who put this in here? Who are these guys? No effect on music once. What? They wrote heavy music before anyone else did? What? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, fall the seasons. This is odorous Syrungus with something that will last perhaps as long as Gua. I'm talking about the wit and wisdom and colorful, wonderful little characters of Charles Schultz, who was a loser and dressed up like a woman and masturbated while fucking drooling over a three-key piano, him and his buddy Brian Wilson. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!